Hello, my name is Swamsi Krishna and this is On Man Art channel. Today we are going to make some of the materials with various shaders. So, if you want to make something like this, you want to make something like this, be with me until the end. Okay, let's get into the video. So I'm going to make uh, delete all these layers and make something from scratch. So go to File New Scene, Don't Save. So I'm going to make it from scratch. So let's take a plane, layer it like this, and let's take some spears. Like okay, so now place it on the grid like this with the figure. Okay, now control D to duplicate, shift D to repeat. Control D, Shift D. Okay. If you want, we can make other other spear. So let's go to the first one. Uh, but before that, let's put some lights here. Put a relay lights. Very dome light. I'm going to use texture. HDI. I downloaded before in the previous video. I'm going to use preview. Okay. That's it. And now let's create a directional light. So it won't look flat like that. Uh, this kind of angle would be nice. Okay. And let's change the color to something like this. Okay. Let's move away this. Okay. Now, this thing. I want to do gold so I click assign new material with a material and gold is a metal so we don't need a diffuse color and all these attributes so let's keep it like that and go to reflection color and give it a reflection color Uh, like this something like this Yeah, this would be nice and just turn off use for now You can see in the viewport it is changed so let's open the Escape It's a Arnold renderer, so it become like that and place it in V-Ray this render here it is you can see that yeah but gold is not that much of a reflective surface like this so let's decrease the ref amount of reflection we want here and just decrease the reflection glassiness so that it won't reflect that much of uh, here a background so something like this would be enough and let's take this select it just click render here 
you can see it's change the render that much of the glassiness is not needed so i'm going to decrease it a little bit and maybe this thing be nice yeah that's nice yeah, that's it for the gold material and i'm going to take this and make this some of some antique gold like thing okay assign new material here material like i said before diffuse color is not needed so let's stick you should decrease it otherwise it won't give you the result you want let's change it to blend so it will be more like anti goals are more like in a red shift so let's go into orange shade and increase this a little bit yeah orange shade here and turn off the use funnel here and because of this impurities gold uh, anti-gold won't reflect that much so let's decrease it and decrease the reflection glassiness more something like this would be enough and let's take a render by selecting this yeah here because of its impurities it's not that much of a reflective surface and it is rough okay that's it now let's make a plastic material a sanium material very material and for plastic we need diffuse color uh let's assign the same color it has go back and here you can see the layer we selected before and in reflection we don't need to add color here because plastic reflections are basically white let's make it like this and we don't want that much of an amount plastic is not that much reflective and here decrease reflection glossiness as well now let's take a render here see it's the plastic uh, ball kind of thing yeah Now let's go to another ball and make it a glass ball. Assign new material, area material, and it was the diffuse color. And in the reflection color, just increase it a little bit and decrease the amount and turn off the use funnel. Decrease the amount of reflection like like this and glossiness too. And go to refraction and increase its color to the max. And I war 0.5 is enough 1.5 for the normal glass. That's it. And just stick a render. It's it moved a little bit, so let's take a whole render. Please select this if you want to make the whole render. Here you can see the glass ball.
here you can see glass ball okay. and if you want to add a color in this refraction then you can mm, use that I change it to green or something uh, this thing and just take a render Yeah, here you can see it changed more like a green this refraction color is a little bit darker so that's why it's not visible that much so if you increase this and the color will increase and here in this the green color also will increase okay uh let's take this assign your material video material and let's make chrome if you don't know what chrome is uh it's the material used for silencers like things it has most reflection out of all and Let's decrease a little bit of amount and a little bit of reflection glossiness. That's it. Now this and take the whole render. Maybe it looks something like similar, but it is not. See here, it's uh, the background in here is like uh, skewed but in here it's reflected totally that's the difference between uh, glass and chrome can identify it easily What kind of material I should make for this? Send a material, a material, and let's make something like uh, I'll say after I completed. Kind of like a rubber object, rubber material.
yeah okay that's it now the last tip for today is if you don't want your render to be like this and click on this interface render so it will make you see what you move uh, place it somewhere like right here It's here, right? You change it here, then we'll change that. Don't have to always like change it, but it will uh, it will put more pressure on the GPU or CPU. So that's all for this lesson. My name is Vamsi Krishna, and this is One Man Art Channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.